We started with a stock 2021 diesel Jeep Gladiator in Sarge Green. First off, for this build, we decided to start in the cab, so we carefully had to remove all of the interior cab components. With this Jeep being a diesel, we wanted to make sure that the cab was a little bit quieter, so we decided to add some sound deafening material. While that was being done, we had to run all new wiring for a new sound system, which also meant ripping apart the entire dash and all of those components as well. After all of our research, we decided to go with an MB Court KT sound system along with a JL Audio dual 10 inch sub. We also went with a Stinger head unit, a high 10. Next, we went with a Vo switch panel for all the auxiliary outputs, plus extra USB ports for Apple CarPlay. Next, we hardwired in a Kenwood and Midland radio, as well as a Go booster. We knew we needed an iPad mount, so we decided to go with the CMM off-road iPad mount. Then, with all the interior put back into place, we were able to add Bartek seat covers to match the exterior with the interior of Sarge Green. Now it's off to the shop for the real fun. We swapped out the stock tail lights to Oracle LED tail lights. Then we pulled off the stock front bumper and added a Warren Zion 10S winch with a Factor 55 fair lead and an Evo front bumper. Next, we removed the axles so we could start prepping for the Evo long arm kit. Removed axles, and now we're gonna start cutting all these brackets off of here to get the long arm kit installed. I get that bracket, that bracket cut off, and all welded. On with the new one, it gets bolted right to here. And then you weld all the way around the new long arm, new long arm kit goes all the way around here and down to like all the way back to here is where the back mount is. Then we were able to add the Evo Enforcer six and a half inch lift. We then added King coilovers, 
shocks, and bump stops. Now it's time to start installing the front and rear axles. We decided to go with Fusion 4x4, Kingpin 60 front axle, and a Fusion 4x4 Dana 80 rear axle. Keep going. We also went with Fusion 4x4, two and a half ton aluminum steering, and a Redneck Ram Hydro Assist. Then we could remove the stock rear bumper and replace it with a Red Summit Machine Works bumper. Next, we removed the stock step bars and replaced them with Rock Slide Engineering steps. We also removed the stock fenders and added custom JCR fenders. We decided to go with Apex Performance Auto Links Sway Bar Disconnects. We also added Next Venture skid plates and Adams drive shafts. We decided to go with KMC 235 wheels, 43 inch Mickey Thompson's Pro XS tires. We also added a KC Pro 6 light bar and a Cascade solar panel mounted to the top of the hood. Now that she's able to stand on her own, we can take her outside and test out her flex and adjust the bump stops as needed before we take her off road. I'd now like to introduce the general. Let's go see what she can do.